Okay, hello people, what's up? This is MHL Engineering, and today this is tutorial 4 of Learning Objective C. Um, now that in my previous uh, tutorials I've teach you, I've teach you how to assign values to variables and display those um, values. <clears throat> so today we're going to be uh, taking those things we know and um, taking two variables and adding doing basic math, doing basic arithmetic, whatever you want to call it. Adding them, subtracting them, multiplying them, and dividing. So I'll show you the basic symbols, the basic um, operators for divide. This is add, obviously. So you put your two variables here. Variable 1 plus variable 2 at each that hold a number. At, so plus minus uh, dash for minus star for multiply and forward slash for divide see you pretty much get it uh, if that was too fast um, you can pause it just so you can see but you'll you'll see so let's let's first define two variables um, we're gonna do floats I'll explain why in a little bit we're gonna do float x equals 7 and float y equals 3 okay so we want to display four actually four different uh, NS styles one for multiply one for divide one for subtraction one for addition so three four okay so the first one's gonna be add we're gonna do we're gonna do percent 1.0 f plus percent 1.0 f equals percent 1.0 f actually percent 2.0 f sorry so now we have to import those so it recognizes and the order does matter you don't want to put like x if I put x x if I put now I have to do comma x and y so we will run that and you realize it came, comes out really weird um, but if I did y and x you'd see that 7's first now and the 3's after it but if I do y plus x the 3's first and the 7 so it does matter the order uh, not not for these first two, but the sec the last one. So now that we have to actually get the last last value of the ad them added together. So you have to do x plus y, and you'll see we run this. Seven plus three equals ten. So if you put the x plus y before uh, the x and the y, it would be like ten plus x equals three. It would be weird. So the next one is going to be um, the, let's just do subtraction. Uh, we can actually copy this to make it much faster. I'm going to explain all this after I have it in there. Um, so let's just change these to minus, divide, multiply. We can also copy these as well. Oops, just copy the whole thing. I'm going to explain it all. Please do not worry. And then we just have to change these to minus divide times. <clears throat> okay. So, basically, this first one is reading the x. And the reason I do a float is because if I didn't do a float for the division it would come up x let me just run this first and show you that it all works 7 plus 3 equals 10 7 minus 3 equals 4 7 uh, 7 divided by 3 is 2.3 7 times 3 is 21 so you see with the division if I didn't do a float which is for a decimal it would come out just 2 so for it to show you the actual number, 
you would need to do a float and there is one one spit one decimal after so instead of doing 2.0 you would do 2.1 or actually you could do um, you could do one because one for the ones two before the decimal you would do two and for the ones that are just one for the decimal you would do one so you can see this corresponds with X this corresponds with Y and this corresponds with X plus Y and X plus X 7 plus 3 equals 10 so basically we're taking the variables and subtracting them and displaying them there so the program is actually not reading the stuff in here it's just printing the stuff that it's it's reading and executing this and then putting it in here so I hope you could understand that and the reason we use the float is again because if there wasn't a float it would just display 2 let's try it with int, int. I'll show you what happens. So we have to change all these to percent %i. Oops, this might take a little bit. So now let's run it with the int. And you can see all the other ones you could have used int, but for this, it, 7 divided by 3, it just shows the whole number. So that's doing basic arithmetic. I hope you understood. Thank you for watching. Um, bye.